fixed length record uh, and the fields delimited by a pipe any delimiter of your choice and necessarily you are supposed to implement pack function unpack function modify and search methods assume uh, that the students ob object will have the following fields it is usn name and semester and um, also we have to use because we have to use fixed length record so let us fix the length to be some 45 characters uh, and uh, if the record is less than 45 then we are going to use underscore or any other character uh, to pad at the end of the shorter record and the longer records will be rejected so let us see the code uh, one by one uh, line by line so these are the things that are very common to every other program file structure f stream we have seen this in the very first program as well because we are working with a student object we are supposed to create a class called as class student which will have the following uh, member functions and data items we have usn name and semester all string objects and then we have functions like enter the data where you are going to accept the uh, student details from the user display the student details to the user and we have something called as pack function unpack function and we are also supposed to modify the record which is searched right so we are supposed to modify based on usn we want to search the record and whatever the user asks you to uh, modify either the usn or the name or the semester we are supposed to modify that particular record so we'll have a uh, array of some 100 students uh, it can be much lesser and one more temporary object created as well along with so this is the class definition for the student which which contains all these things right after that we have uh, a file pointer here in this particular program we are working only with one file we are accepting the user data that is the student data from the user and we are writing it into one of the files which the user tells or you can even fix the file in which you want to write the next function that we are going to implement is search this is outside the student uh, uh, class and then we have this generic error uh, function which displays the corresponding error messages we will see the definition of this in a short period so this is the main function definition in which you throw open a choice menu kind of a thing to the user um, one to insert a record two to search and modify three to exit okay so accept the choice and then based on the choice you're going to switch the first choice is to enter the record so what are you going to do when you say enter the record so you can call temp dot enter the text enter the data temp we know is a student object enter data is we know it's a member function of student object which accepts the user data so the moment we come here we are supposed to see the definition of enter data see this is the definition of enter data what are we trying to do here so we are instructing the compiler that it returns nothing void it belongs to student class and the name of the function is enter data it is not going to accept any uh, argument but what are we trying to do we are asking the question and taking the answer enter the usn of the student seen usn enter the name of the student name seen enter the semester of the student seen semester right that's it so this is what we are going to do so once you take the input from the user what are you trying to do before you uh, write it into the file you are supposed to open the file so fp we have created fp object if you remember file handler fp dot open so we had seen this in the previous program as well so we are going to open the file in which file we are trying to open the name of the file is input.txt or whatever you want to call so here i think it will make sense if you call it as student record.txt or something so student record.txt 
necessarily we are trying to write something into the file so it will be you so you, you are supposed to open that in output mode and every time we are going to add something into the file so please open that in append mode not necessarily output mode always so because uh, the next time you run the program you are going to append the next set of student record that you are going to add uh, to the file okay instead of uh, starting afresh so open in uh, write mode and append mode okay uh, so once you open you are supposed to uh, always check whether the file was opened successfully or not so if not of fp <coughs> error 1 so error 1 we have defined this error function somewhere in at the bottom so error always means this so depending on the error if error is 1 it means unable to open the record file okay and then simply exit so we'll see when there will be a record 2 i mean sorry error 2 so once we have opened the file what are we supposed to do we are supposed to pack right so what is packing we have got all the individual fields of the student record that is name uh, usn and the semester so we are supposed to pack it and make it a single record so once you call pack okay we are supposed to go to pack function see this pack function is a student uh, member function student class member function it doesn't take any argument what are we trying to do please observe we are creating a string called as buffer which will contain usn and a <coughs> delimiter then comes the name again a delimiter and then the semester and then the final delimiter now this is what we were asked to do we are supposed to pack it in a particular format so this is this complete thing is one single record usn pipe name pipe semester and a pipe we are supposed to work with a fixed length record so every time you pack you are supposed to change the i mean check the length of the record so if the le record length is greater than 45 you are supposed to again say error because we said early that if the length of the record is more than 45 we are going to reject it that's what we saw in the error function so otherwise what are we supposed to do we are supposed to pad the uh, shorter record with extra dummy characters that is in this case we are using underscore so how do you do that while buffer dot length is less than 46 okay what are we supposed to do buff plus is equal to underscore that is simply concatenate these padding character at the end of the buffer so once you do this our uh, buffer is uh, ready to be written into the file so this is something which is familiar how to write it into the file so fp redirection buffer and the new line because every record has to sit in a different line so we are supposed to after writing the buffer that is the actual record we are supposed to uh, also enter a end l that is go to the next line so this much is about <coughs> packing a record right after you pack after you write the record you're supposed to necessarily close the file very very important and then you're going to break so if the choice is two what are you supposed to do search and modify so simply say search see search is something which is not a member function of the student it's a separate function it is defined here so what is happening in search so here in this case we are using usn as the primary key so we are going to accept user uh, usn to search uh, we will have some initial flags like minus one and modify flag as minus one and all that we're going to see why we are going to use all these flags so based on the uh, usn that the user enters we are going to search so enter the usn of the student we to be searched okay so you're going to accept that see in usn search and then fp dot open so where are you going to search once you accept the usn where where are all of our records all our records are in uh, we change the file name so it will be uh, what is that student rec dot txt student student rec dot txt this is where all our this is where all our 
records are written so this time please observe we are opening in input mode that is read mode not write mode okay because we are going to read the records from the student record file again once you try to open it just check whether the opening was successful and then this is something which we have uh, already seen while fp which means to say till the end of the record read every line line by line so s of i dot unpack <coughs> so where are all our records so once you get into the file you're going to simply say s of i dot unpack which means to say you're calling a function called as unpack so what is happening in unpack let us see unpack is a function which is a member function of student class here it is so what are we trying to do here in unpack we are having a buffer called as segment or whatever get line fp comma usn till the delimiter so get line function we had already seen this is a slightly different version of get line wherein we are going to mention the delimiter also which means to say read one line from fp okay that is the file pointer in our case it is student record.txt usn is the buffer into which you are supposed to read but not the complete line but till you see the delimiter that is pipe in our case so the first field that we are going to read is usn next in the same line you are going to read name till the next delimiter and then the third record field that we are going to read from the same record is the semester till the next pipe right and then once we read all these details okay we are also supposed to read the rest of the record because we are supposed to finish off reading that particular line and go to the next line that's why we are not going to store anything read this into the segment but we are not going to use this segment because we are supposed to simply read through the complete line and then next in the next iteration we are going to go to the next line so this is what unpacking is doing so unpacking is necessarily reading the fields individual fields in the file from the file okay individually so once you unpack what are you supposed to do once you unpack please observe you are, where are we, where are we trying to put all these things we are trying to put in s of i s of s is the student object array that we created and we are going to read each of these things into that okay so s i dot unpack means where in unpack when i say read it into name it is s of 0 dot name s of 0 dot uh, usn s of 0 dot semester like that so every single line that we read single record that we read will actually get into a student object array and then we're going to increment the i okay so this is something which we're going to repeat till the end of the file so we are now we are done with reading all the student records that were there in the file okay into the student array something which was there in the in the secondary memory now came into the main memory because our student array is in the main memory now what are we supposed to do exactly after reading the content from the file we're going to close it and then we are supposed to start searching so we have used a simple linear search uh we got how many records we read from i so we're going to run the for loop from 0 to count and then simply do a linear search if s of i dot usn is the usn that you want to search which the user passed okay or gave then search flag is equal to minus 1 search is successful we found that usn and break out otherwise the search flag is negative that is whatever was set earlier by default we are simply we going to say record not found and return if the record was found we are supposed to ask the user whether you are going to modify so s of search underscore flag the index where we actually got that particular record in the array dot display data so we are first even before asking the user whether he wants to modify or not we are we, we are going to simply display all the uh, student record so what are you going to do in display simply print it out a single line see out name is the name that you got from the file usn is the usn that you got from the file semester is the semester that you got from the file 
okay so the complete student display uh, record you're going to display immediately after displaying you're going to ask the user a question that is do you wish to modify the record one to modify zero to exit so after you take the choice if modify flag okay that is uh, one then what you're going to do simply uh, call the modify function for that particular record s dot search flag dot modify please remember you are also supposed to rewrite the record file once you modify the data right so call modify first let's see what is happening in modify okay so this is a modify function wherein you are going to simply ask the user which field he necessarily has to modify there are three fields we know one is the name the other one is the usn the other one is the semester so each of these things he can simply modify so you ask the user which field he wants to modify based on the choice you're going to uh, switch so if he wants to enter a new name you can give him a new name if he wants to enter the new usn you can rewrite the usn if he wants to give the new semester you can simply do that and then return it so this is what is happening in modify please remember here we are not actually modifying the content that is there in the file we are only modifying the content that was there in the main memory that is there in the array now we are supposed to make it persistent so how do you do that open the same file again where we had to write it back okay student rec.txt this time you are not opening it in the read mode but in the write mode ios colon colon out now again do the same check whether the opening was successful if it was successful then what you are supposed to do rewrite the complete set of data again back into the file so what are you supposed to do again call s of i dot pack so what is happening in pack we saw what pack did what was pack doing so it was creating the usn record i mean the complete student record it checked whether the length is appropriate after modification if the length increases then you are supposed to return uh, with an error if it is not you are supposed to again pad and rewrite so every every record we are simply going to rewrite into the f file right from the beginning okay this time please observe we are not opening it in the append mode we are opening it in the output mode so necessarily the file is being rewritten okay this is not a very efficient way of doing it but this is one way of doing it okay so we'll we are going to see how to change the record wherever it is in the student records please remember in this program we are going to rewrite the complete student record dot txt even if there is a single character change in any one of the record okay so we're going to rewrite the complete file so once the complete file is rewritten we're going to close that particular file so this is about complete modification search and modify so exactly after that we're going to break and exit so this this is this complete program talks about managing a fixed length record structure of a student record in a particular file so this is what it is